Hello guys, welcome back to Insta Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at how this analog mechanical vibrating reed frequency meters work. Now that's a lot of different names for this single meter, but you know, they're all the same name for this mechanical frequency meter. And uh, this one in particular, you can see how much accurate this thing is when compared to a more modern digital version of it. The fluke on the left hand side is actually showing the reading in a digital way and you can see for a mechanical meter that is more than 30 years old how much accurate that unit really is. Now I'm actually showing the working prior to the teardown because I'm afraid because once it is teared down if something happens to the alignment of, of any of the reads then it's not going to show the proper values. So that's the reason why I'm going to show you this uh, the working of this unit prior to the teardown because I'm afraid I'm really afraid because I don't want to destroy this very old still precisely working unit but just as a precaution I'm doing it so as you can see from the screen as I decrease the frequency the meter the reads that are on the left hand side of the 50 Hertz marking is going to vibrate according to the corresponding frequency and as I increase the frequency to more than 50 the reads that are on the right hand side of the 50 Hertz marking is going to vibrate and you may notice that the frequency the markers on the left immediate left and right of the 50 hertz marking are a little bit shorter than the uh, side the others on the side that is because those two are not for the unity markers they are the 0.5 decimal place markers so the frequency actually reads like 45 46 47 48 49 49.5 50 50.5 50, 50 51 52 53 54 and 55 and you can see that happening in the screen as well as I increase the frequency towards 52, you can see exactly the 52 marker is the one that is vibrating. And as I decrease it and make it to 51, the 51 hertz marker is vibrating. And as I bring it to 50.5, you will see the smaller one will start vibrating right now. And uh, as I increase down to 50, you will see the exact center one is going to vibrate. So this is how this whole unit works basically. Now. Uh, since I have shown you the working of this unit, I can now tear it down with more scale. So on to the tear down now. Alright, so here is the unit out of the whole panel mount setup. And you can see the manufacturer name at the bottom. It is Automatic Electric Limited Bombay. which is an Indian company, AE. And for something that is more than 30 years old, this is in a pristine condition. And you can see all the 10 reads that are used to represent the different frequency markings this particular meter is reading from 45 to 55 but you can purchase this thing uh, from a lot of frequency ranges starting all the way from 40 that goes up to 60 hertz you know typical kind of frequencies and here are the sides of it nothing special on the sides except on the back side which is this one so this particular meter can be used at uh, voltage levels of three different types this is a common where you connect the neutral and if you're in a country which has 110 to 125 volt supply you need to give it a connection to this particular pin uh, that actually is covered with a black rubber top you have to remove it to expose the metal screw uh, mounting pin so if you live in a country that uses that one there that is where you connect the supply and since we use 220 to 250 volt we have made the connection onto that point and this can also read 380 to 440 volt ac frequency that means the face to face frequency as well Here's a serial number but nothing mentioning the date code of this unit. But as far as I know this is one of the earliest meters that was installed at the beginning of the company that I'm working right now. So you can see how sensitive this equipment is just by tapping on the bench all the reads are now vibrating. That much sensitive unit is this one. So this is a very sensitive unit and that sensitivity creates a lot of issue in, during the manufacturing of this particular unit. And you can see even the slightest wind is going to create the reeds to vibrate. So imagine the time that is needed for the calibration of this unit. Imagine the time and patience needed for the calibration of this unit. Now here's a bank of resistors in a PCB which is used for dividing the voltage, input voltage down to a much safer voltage that the coil can handle. And it's because of this resistor network, this particular meter uh, is, able to, is, is able to work on a very wide voltage ranges. And here are all the reads with the aligning or the balancing lead coating on top. And just imagine a single person has to sit in a room very peacefully, very calm, 
without taking a lot of breaths there is not a lot of air flow because you have seen how sensitive this unit is and with all that in mind somebody has to be sitting there in the room in the calibration room with a lot of patience slightly adding or removing the lead until it vibrates for that particular frequency just imagine the pain it takes to calibrate just one unit and imagine the workmanship and quality of this kind of unit because this thing is 30 years old it has been working ever since the day one it uh, it made you know it, it it's fixed in our company and even in 2020 it is working just fine look at all the lead coatings look at just just imagine guys how much pain how much time how much effort is needed for a person to stand still and do all the adding and removing of lead from those reeds just so that it can vibrate at a particular frequency so the principle of operation is very simple the construction is very simple but the time and effort needed for the calibration is very high nowadays you can get this thing made from china of course you know everything is now available from purchasing from china but this thing is a piece of art and that's the reason why i love these kind of analog frequency meters a lot now uh, here's a close-up of this unit once again we will move to the the uh, slow motion version of this unit really soon but just to show this is now turned off and you can see it the reeds are still vibrating a little bit so yeah that's all about the basic walking and i digress a lot but still that i think these are all useful for for you know just so that you will get the atmosphere right okay now let me show you the some let me give you some views from the inside of this unit while it's being running and you can see the meter is on and the reads not reads the read is vibrating for the 50 hertz frequency and the way this works is really simple as the current flows through the coil it creates a magnetic field and the magnetic field is actually attracting and, re and repelling a particular read based on the way it is calibrated and as we change the frequency the magnetic field the interaction between the magnetic field and the read is going to change and it's going to be in a different way and you know you have to calibrate it with a lot of precision you know the magnetic field with the 50 hertz frequency and the 50.5 frequencies it's not very much when you're counting but to make it happen in a mechanical thing you have to be very 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 careful and you can see all the lead coatings on top I'm still thinking just imagine the pain it takes to calibrate this unit that whole that just alone makes uh, owning this one worth worth it so now let's move on to the slow motion footage but before that here is an up close view I really wish I had one of these units with me but I don't have it I have to return this unit so here is the slow motion footage and you can see wow just look at that how beautifully this is vibrating and you can see it's not just a 50 hertz or needle that is vibrating it's slightly the markers on the sides are also vibrating but not too much but you know so that is all about this particular meter i really like this meter i but unfortunately i do not own this one i have to return it and uh, you know i just wanted to share with you this particular video so yeah thanks for watching see you in another video guys